Hey guys, uh, Wayne Function here. Uh, I'm the uh, developer for the For Science mod. Uh, and I'd just like to go over some of the, the features and, and demonstrate them. Uh, I think there's a little more enlightening than just uh, some text on a forum post. Uh, For Science is uh, in the latest version. Uh, we'll uh, find all the science modules on your, your vessel automatically and, uh, and collect the data to a uh, storage vessel which will be assigned automatically. Uh, usually this is your command module. Uh, there may be some uh, edge cases where it doesn't do that but uh, in future version I will uh, be allow you to, uh, to, to right click on a, uh, a module that has the, the, the uh, module science container and let you uh, just right click on it to choose to store there. But right now we're just working on basic functionality. So uh, right now it just automatically chooses. Oh. Alright Mr. Chatter. I think you're broken. Alright. So uh, hopefully it won't do that anymore. But uh Right now, just uh, it just automatically gets your your experiments, and uh, and it will detect when you uh, experiments ha are available, and run them, and and then store them into your science container instead of you having to go out in EVA and collect them and stuff like that. It does not collect the uh, the uh, unresettable experiments like the goo canister and the uh, materials bay. Uh, you'll have to right click and run them manually. Uh, future In the future I will add an option for you to uh, to just configure all uh, configure uh, whatever you want to be automatically resettable if, if that's what you choose. Uh, but obviously that's a future version. Uh, the basic functionality, the basic way it works is uh, Whenever you enable it, it's going to go ahead and run all the experiments. And uh, if if they're not on board uh, already on board your your collector, already if it hasn't already been collected, it will automatically run it. So as soon as you click on it, it's going to run all the experiments as you can see, um, and go ahead and put them in your command module. As you can see, now they're all stored in the command module. Right now, it does not check if um, if there's actually any science available for the experiments. That is uh, one of the next features, uh, polish features that I plan to, uh, to implement pretty soon. But uh, well, uh, it automatically detects whenever you enter a new flight state. Whenever you enter a new biome, it will automatically run the experiments and, uh, and automatically collect it. Uh, you'll still have to do the EVAs manually. Uh, I did have something sort of working, but it wasn't to my liking as far as the EVA goes. Uh, that will be coming in a future version, uh, as well as maybe a prompt that there's EVA, uh, EVA science available in some way. I haven't decided. The UI is uh, is temporary. Uh, eventually, I want to have everything like clickable on modules, so like you can right click on the materials bay and set it to resettable if you want, or just get rid of as much UI. And I want to add, if I can, add some kind of way to show which biome you're currently in, what vessel state or flying state you're in, uh, and give you information that's not currently really available uh, in game without mods. Uh, so uh, let's just see this in action. Uh, I'm just going to launch the vessel. We'll, we'll get up to the orbital and we'll see uh, how it detects um, new situations. As you see, as soon as we launch, it gets while flying over turbine shores. Uh, it just went ahead and run everything. It does a check 
the uh, mod does a check if uh, as for for the experiments if it is already stored in your storage module it will need it will not rerun the experiment uh, for whatever reason you need to uh, rerun the experiment I, I can't imagine a reason why you'll have to go to restore the uh, review store data and and click through and delete any that specific data that you want to delete as you can see I've already I've already run all these experiments before so we're just getting a bunch of zero values but like I said eventually it will, it will filter out all those and only be giving you new science or, or uh, uh, first run science uh, as an option uh, or all science as an option depending on the settings uh, you see on the, the forum post for the add-on I have a, uh, a lot of features that are planned and uh, that's one of the features that that's playing I, I'm going to try to in the next version try to get the uh, the null science data experiment filtered out so it's not just constantly spamming you when there's no real science available and eventually I want to add interactivity so that you can choose which data you want to store or save or whatever just to give a point to those windows at least I guess or just to hide them all together if I can like I said I'm, I'm new yeah, in, into programming I'm new to unity so uh, it's a learning process for me and development's been slow I'm sorry it's been uh, probably about two weeks since my last update but uh, I do a lot of testing uh, on my own. I did about three playthroughs on my. Uh, we're about to get new data here. Uh, I did about uh, three playthroughs just to make sure it was safe. See, we, we we entered up flying over Kirkman's water. Bam! It automatically detected which science was available. Went ahead and ran it. Um, then we'll get out, we'll hit flying high at eighteen hundred. There we go. Like I said, it, it just automatically. Like I said, all, we've done all, already done all these experiments, so there's no data to be get to be got right now. But uh, it's really useful for you know, like as soon as you land on like a, a biome on the moon or something like that, bam, you got all your experiments for landed. You're flying around, you know those those weird. I think the gravioli detector that you can get biome specific flying over. Uh, at specific altitudes will automatically collect all those data. You don't have to know when and where you are or nothing like that. It'll just automatically get all that stuff. So it's really great. You can just put your uh, looks like I got a uh, text message, but uh, it's really great for uh, just you know you could you can put a for that experiment you can just put a, a vessel in orbit over polar orbit and just. Uh, time warp. It works during time warp. You don't have to drop out of time warp. It'll collect data during time warp. It's really useful. And uh, anyway, that's how it's working right now in Dash Two. Um, uh, as you, if you look on the forum post, you can see uh, what what my future plans are. But uh, uh, I, I've given you a little bit of taste of, of, of how it works now and, and my coming features. Uh, any feedback is appreciated. Uh, any appreciation is very appreciated. So uh, please feel free to uh, comment either on the thread or on this uh, YouTube video. Uh, like and subscribe and share and you know just get the word out. Uh, the more interest that, that that is shown, the more you know, the more passion I'm, I, I I can, the more energy you know I I, I can get to uh, to continue developing this mod. But uh, Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a nice day.